Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And somehow we missed this. This dropped yesterday, end of business, on a Tuesday. Well, we were busy with other things like Disney. Go yeah, ahead. we were busy with other things. So Rooster Teeth, there has been a massive, major, major upheaval at Rooster Teeth. And nobody is surprised. I'm just surprised at how quickly it happened. I'm surprised but the person they put in charge. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. We're going to talk ahead. about that. So the future of Rooster Teeth looks very, very different from, from where they've, they've uh, uh, traditionally gone. Mm -hmm. And I can't say if you're a fan of uh, old school Rooster Teeth that this is going to be a good change. Uh, they're trying to spin it as a positive. I don't see a positive. I think it's it's going to be a cluster. And I think, I think this is the official end of old school rooster mm -hmm. teeth as we knew it this is to make it fit and they're, they're taking a square peg and they're making it round so it fits right in the little round thing and in, in their plans at uh, warner brothers another notch in the warner belt so before we get into the video please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already i think we have about 63 ish thousand subs hoping to hit a hundred thousand soon thank you so much for the support guys uh we want to keep bringing you content um like this so yeah somehow we missed this yesterday last night yeah um you know i just i guess i figured there was enough big rooster teeth news there wouldn't be any more big rooster teeth news oh just okay oh, just wait guys it, it, gets, it gets better it just gets better hold on so uh there they they yeah they brought in a new a new ceo yeah so um, yeah so this is coming from the Austin Chronicle. We'll talk about who the CEO is. We're going to talk about what they're going to do with Matt and Bernie. They're basically demoting them. Mm -hmm. And they're putting a guy in charge who's... Uh, well, this, you'd think he had this amazing animation background. No. no animation at all. None. Zero. That's what they put in charge. He does a lot of uh, uh, teen comedies, teen-focused con content yes. for like the CW and for Awesomeness TV. And this is with not... WB. The WB, all, it all gels together. It's all the same kinds of stuff. Not the kind of stuff that you would associate with Rooster Teeth. Well, not just that. Clearly, this person has no clue on what's involved in animation, how long things take. You think Crunch was bad before? You got somebody in charge who has no idea how long things take. Yeah, this is going to be interesting, to say the least. I think this is this is sort of the, um, the beginning of the end. Yeah, so here, just hold on, we're going to explain. Yeah, Go so ahead. massive shakeup in top management at Rooster Teeth. New roles for longtime Rooster Teeth personalities as Jordan Levin becomes general manager. Um, so the next wave of, of the ongoing shakeup at Austin-based uh, Rooster Teeth studio hit today with the news that entertainment veteran Jordan Levin will be taking over as general manager, while several core figures, including many of the company founders, move into new positions. New they're, positions that get demoted. They're basically being demoted to creative roles only. Right. When they're the ones that came up with all of it. But you yeah. know, they're, they're good to know that, that's that, good you, to know, know. you know. Like, hey guys, thanks for getting us to this point. Clearly you can't run a business. So we're going to demote you and, and we're still so, going to pick your brains. And we're going to put somebody in charge though that has no business running an animation studio. But oh, congratulations, let's go. So the studio, which is part of Otter Media, has been going through a round of shakeups as part of the aftershocks from the merger of Time Warner and AT&T. Earlier this month, the firm laid off 13% of its staff. Its and first... before that, they laid off too. Yeah, there was a layoff. Before that, we had insiders from Rooster Teeth come to us and say a bunch of people got gone in March, but you didn't hear about that because mm -hmm. it would have sent panic. Mm -hmm. uh, panic. And this is why... This is why you need to panic. This is why we've been telling people for months, uh, if you're working at Rooster Teeth, you better keep your resume and, up you know, to date. And you know, good news, uh, Levin was one of the formative voices in the early CW. Uh, yeah. And I now did. they're going to run Rooster Teeth. Oh, God. Yeah, so... Tapping um, into the underserved young adult market with groundbreaking shows. Okay, now Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Dawson's Creek. Dawson's are Creek. Yeah, I know, but do and we he, want the guy who worked on Dawson's Creek working on anime? Right, because you know, because you know, I, he's he's down with it. He's down with you all, you know, and he's I think he's older than we are. Yeah. So, oh God. So he later became president of programming, and in 2003 became the youngest CEO in broadcast television history. Okay, I'll give him. So I'll give him props. 16 years for that. ago, he was the youngest CEO. <laughs> <laughs> now he's like in his 50s, right? So he has also been the NFL's first chief content officer and general manager of Xbox Entertainment before joining Awesomeness. Now let's go out to Awesomeness. Now Awesomeness got sold for a song to Viacom and they stopped being, I, I guess they do stuff on YouTube, but now they're pretty much focused on making stuff like this. Hey, it's E-Man. Mm -hmm. E-Man. Uh, the, these kinds of comedies for other TV networks, and we're going to talk about that because this is very important. Awesomeness TV has basically been relegated to creating and oh, yeah, pitching the shows. Date too, it makes yeah. sense. 
this is the kind of content that Levin produces. This does not seem to gel with what Rooster Teeth currently produces. But this is what probably is going to be doing now. Oh, you know what, Rooster God. Teeth? We need to, we need to be target more of the teenage female market. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I mean, so. we need more shows like High Guardian Spice in live action. Yeah, live action High to Guardian Spice. To all the Spice. boys I loved before as an anime. <laughs> so. Oh my God! Uh, however, Levin's entry means the biggest shakeup in company's history as major figures in front of the camera and in the managerial structure move to new creative centers. They basically positions. made new positions and put them in. Co-founder Bernie Byrne steps down as chief creative officer, becomes an executive producer, concentrating on developing new projects. Company wide, well, they can't get done the ones they have. Yeah, I know. They can't get the ones they have done, and now they're going to develop new ones company wide. Co-founder Matt Hollum steps down as CEO and takes on the newly creative role of chief content officer. I want to tell you what they're doing with these guys because they tried to spin it as a positive and this is not a positive for them. Co-founder Jeff Ramsey takes on an expanded role as executive creative director. Uh, the founders are being relegated to just basically being idea guys. They're basically, yeah, these, are all, these, are all, these are all positions that by what they are is you come up with the ideas. Yes. You got the ideas, and then and then if we like them, we'll, we'll run with them. Yeah. It, we can't run without your ideas, so you, you make the ideas. And it was their company. Uh-huh. So I want to talk about that, because this is very important. We talked about what happened with George Lucas yesterday, and this is what happens when oh, wait, you Wait, it gets better, though. Doreen Copeland moves from head of live action to become VP head of production operations. Okay, head of live action. This guy's background is live action. I'm just pointing that out. I'm just saying. I think what's going to happen, because we said before, animation is incredibly expensive. Warner Brothers under AT&T likes to cut corners. Live action is cheaper. It seems like they're bringing live action people into Rooster Teeth. So what they're probably going to do is do some lame, like, let's do let's do a live action, like, LARPing show or something. They're, what they're going to do is they're going to try to tap it, theory, they're going to try to tap into the quote unquote geek market with idiotic live action shows. Let's or do a LARPing throw show. throw some animation into it. I'm just like, if you can't keep up with the animation shows you have, why the hell would you go try to make up new stuff? You know what I mean? I just, you know. Yeah, I just have a, I have a real bad feeling. I think it's going to be, they're going to make live action shows tapping into the geek market. Occasionally they'll do animated stuff, but they're going to do it on the cheap. It's going to be done the cheap, and they're going to be targeting uh, I don't know what Gen they're going to do. I honestly don't. I just don't understand why they put somebody, other other than to, to try to go into live action, why would you put, you know, elevate people that were live action people before to other higher positions, and then bring a live action guy in to run an animation channel? Well, it makes that's no, why. Yeah, I know. Like, otherwise, I don't yeah, know what else, how else to explain it. I mean, it might not be the case, but I don't know how else you explain this. So here we have uh, Barbara Dunkelman moves from her current post as social and community marketing director to become creative director. That's a that's a big move. There's a lot of creative directors. Yeah, for Rooster Teeth's direct comedic content, including uh, shorts and life. Yeah, of course. Uh, They're live action. Rooster Teeth shorts and Rooster Teeth uh, life are live action. Live action. Seeing a pattern here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're seeing a pattern here. Um, we forgot to mention uh, Louis Medina becomes SVP of partnerships and strategy, overseeing operations and strategic partnerships for their content behind the paywall on YouTube, including Achievement Hunter, Funhouse and the Roost. Um, okay, Gray Hat Gray Haddock moved to a solely creative role after concerns about crunch culture became public. He got gone. Mm -hmm. Gray Haddock is gone. Uh, they're not even mentioning that. He got mm -hmm. gone, and from my understanding, he got fired. Yeah. So, uh, again, he is the head of animation. He's out the door. Right. It does look like they're transitioning into more live-action content that it taps into the geek market. So you come up with cool ideas, but we're just going to make them live-action of animation. Or we're right. going to do animation as a, a supplemental. Yeah, this is not good. This is the end of Rooster Teeth as we know it. For a company in which creative and management have been consistently intermingled, which does happen right. when you have your own business, uh, many staff and leaders wearing multiple hats. This is a major shift in philosophy, creating a clearer line than ever between the creative and business sides of the studio. And I'm going to tell you what I think is going to go on here. And I think we were both on the same page. It remains to be seen how the stu studio's loyal fan base, who have been bitching and moaning for months mm -hmm. about things, who have often been very vocal in their support of the company's independent nature, will respond. Yeah, they're no longer independent, they're guys. Not. They're being, they're being, they're putting the collar on. Yep. They captured it. They're putting the collar on they're it. And they're, gonna, and they're going to neuter it and domesticate it. And it's going to be their little bitch. Yeah, that's it. Rooster Teeth is Warner Brothers bitch. This, this Levin guy answers directly to the guy in charge of Automedia. 
This is the end of Rooster Teeth. This is it. This is the end of Rooster We've Teeth. We've been as... telling you this is coming. And everybody's like, oh my God, no. You're so Everything's full of crap. Fine. You don't know it's anything. All fine here. What no, do like, you know? Haters. You don't know. It's like, no. We've been telling Something you. Something was going down and we knew yeah, it. Yeah, this is it. This is the end of Rooster Teeth as, as an independent animation studio. It's over. Levin has issued a statement praising the work done by the founders. Kind of like Bob Iger with George Lucas. Yes. Over the past 16 years, Matt, Bernie, Jeff, and Gus have built world-class entertainment company themselves mostly yeah 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 amidst a turbulent marketplace in engaging in a fervent community of fans through a diverse portfolio of successful entrepreneurial businesses i'm fortunate to have gotten to know them over the years and thrilled for the opportunity to uh domesticate i mean join them mm -hmm. going forward to lead this unique media brand with the full support of my friends at warner media I'm grateful to be returning to Austin, which has been my family's second home, as well as the Warner Media family, to realize Rooster Teeth's ambitions of producing more content in, in more places, places to reach and expand its community wherever they here, are and will be. Here's the problem, and here's what people don't seem to understand. And this happened to us directly, so people don't seem to understand this. When you have people that are the core of a business, the core of a brand, and they're like they're the, they're the central, their creativeness, their their ideas, their voice the way that you know what the how they interact with people is what people love you cannot do this and expect it to be successful this is not going to most likely work i mean it's this very unlikely work. this is going to work um and then there and then it's going to end up failing because they're going to take out what made it what it is then take then slowly remove the people that made it what it is yep and then there's going to be it's going to be another it's going to be the sequel of star wars movies where it's all done by committee and these people who have no effing business doing anything creative because they aren't creatives themselves are going to try to you know What's happening with the kids today? Let's figure it out. I mean, what's 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 Tumblr saying? What's Twitter saying? Let's go, let's go, let's go get a couple Tumblr people or something to run this. And then it's gonna go. It's already going. We're gonna we're gonna go with what we think is you know, and, and you cannot separate them from the. It, 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 it's yeah. like taking the heart out and expecting it to still live. It just doesn't happen. Yeah, it's it's this is it. This I, look, I'm not trying to be all doom and gloom, but I am being doom and gloom in this case. This is the end of Rooster Teeth as you know it. It's over. It's over. It's now just, and even the way that Warner Media talks about it, it's just a notch in their corporate belt. This mm -hmm. is it. Announcing the change, Matt Hollum wrote, leading Rooster Teeth, and we're going to talk about that, and how they're trying to put a positive spin on it, because they have to, because now they're salaried bitches. Yeah. Uh, they're no longer the company founders. Announcing the change, Holm wrote, leading Rooster Teeth has been one of the greatest privileges of my life. Despite an ever-changing industry and an ongoing series of acquisitions and integrations, we managed to grow the company more than 10 times the size it was when I began as CEO just over seven years ago. It's been an incredible ride, and now I'm beyond excited to be returning to the creative work that inspired me to want to co-found Rooster Teeth. You know, he could place. because sometimes a lot of creatives, a lot of creative people don't really have the business sense and 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 they actually prefer just to stay creative that's why you see a lot of times you see a lot of comics a lot of times with a lot of things with, with creatives and their company doesn't do that well because they don't have the business sense to move it forward um but they'd rather just be creative but by doing that they have to give all the control up right and then what happens at that point now you know occasionally you have a situation like you know early disney where you got the Disney brothers and people keep forgetting about Roy Disney. Like they have no idea how important Roy Disney was to the company. Very. He, he was incredibly, I would say there would be no Disney company as it is now, certainly without Roy Disney. Cause Walt went out and he was a showman. Roy didn't want to be in mm -hmm. the spotlight. Walt came up with the ideas and it was Roy's job to be like, is this financially viable? Let's go. Wheel and what and can we it. do to make it financially viable? Right. Right. And he kept Walt grounded, but Walt, had was the idea guy he was the face of the company but it was roy that actually made it all work because mm -hmm. walt by himself i don't think would have been able to because his ideas were so far out there sometimes it was mm -hmm. like yeah this isn't gonna work walt um so that is true but in this case because it got acquired by another company uh, i'm thinking this is the corporate mandate this is what they want and we'll talk about where these guys are going to fit in going forward so the ceo of otter media said today's i'm sorry this is funny <laughs> This sounds very robotic. I'm going to read this I'm in a sorry. robot. I'm sorry. This is funny. Go ahead. I'm going to read this in a robot voice because it you sounds... You don't do a very good robot voice. I, I'm going to read it in a bad robot Maybe voice. Do your skeletal voice because it's more fun. Today's you, announcement. Because you're so bad at it. <laughs> our reflection of our commitment and confidence in Rooster Teeth and its value inside the Warner Media portfolio. We look forward to the future and Levin's leadership. Now, <laughs> now let's hear your robot voice. See which is better. What am I, freaking Manny Faces? Yeah, let's, like let's hear human the robot. robot monster? Let's hear it. Today's announcements are a reflection of our commitment and confidence in Rooster Teeth and its value inside the Warner Media portfolio. We okay, look forward to the future better. and Levin's leadership. 
the robot's a little bit better. Um, I just think this is funny. They're saying it's a reflection of our commitment and confidence. You're, you're confident in Rooster Teeth. You're so confident in Rooster Teeth that you just completely restructured the whole damn thing and stuck somebody in charge of it who has no business being in charge of it. God. So here's here's some uh, here's some posts from creatives. Uh, Bernie Burns, who's who's uh, you know being changed. He's being changed. So after spending some time with my newly expanded family at Warner Media. Uh, and reflecting on the path of my career, I decided to step down as chief creative officer. You didn't decide. You didn't. I'm so tired. Why did they spin it this way? I don't they always know. spin it We're this gonna, way. There was a time we went down at Disney too recently where this person, they completely eliminated her position. They're like, well, she'd step down. Limiting your position means you didn't step down. It means you got you fucking fired. This thing too. I, I decided to step down. No, you were told. This other guy's in charge. We're bumping everybody down a peg. That's what happened. You didn't decide it. You were told it. So they, they demote him to a producer role. So he answers to Ryan Hall. Building Rooster Teeth from a small startup in a spare bedroom to the media empire it is today has been the proudest accomplishment of my career. Again, these guys freaking, they did this. They built this from nothing. Yeah. And then they sold it and look what the hell happened. They even got a spare bedroom. We have to do ours from our real bedroom. <laughs> so, <laughs> we like, have truly built a company unlike any other. And I want to thank every person who has helped make that possible. Now I plan to focus on the passionate reason I began the company all those years ago to work on my own projects, telling captivating stories to the world. As I move behind the scenes, I will miss appearing in the daily productions. And I want to thank my castmates and crew who have been a part of these projects. I hope you'll help me update my resume. I mean, I hope you will join me for my last regular podcast. But wait, they're not even letting them be have the podcast. No. Who's going to run the podcast and stuff? They don't want them to be the face anymore. I, so who's gonna, who are they going to make the face? That's going to be interesting. Who's going to be the, the face now? Yeah, so here, Matt Holm, uh, stepping down, stepping down. I'm, cha I'm changing. Again, you're not doing it on your own, Matt. They're changing your position. They are changing your position from executive officer, the head honcho, to uh, the content officer. So you're just in charge of content. I will be putting the majority of my efforts into growing the newly launched Rooster Teeth Studios. I'm going to talk about that. And I will leave behind most of the managerial, operational, and executive duties that I've taken on for the company over the last seven and a half years. It's a big moment for me personally, as you can probably imagine, probably a pay cut too. And I'm excited about the opportunity. Uh, I'm glad they kept me on staff. Getting back to the content and creative is something many of you know I've been wanting to do for a long time. Uh, and finally now, so many possibilities opening up to us through Warner Media, through Warner Media. And with some key new hires and promotions in place, it feels like the time is right. And again, they just talk about how they went from being a startup to this uh, you know, thanks to our overlords, we're a big media company now, but now we have to do everything they tell us. So Bernie got okay. So Bernie is one of the founders. Bernie got demoted from well, CEO to creative officer. So they brought Matt in, and now both Matt and now Bernie's just demoted to producer. This was his like he started this company. I know. Do you see what but, and happens? And I was like, okay, they clearly brought someone. They probably brought someone with an animation background or some kind of background no. in, because that we're supposed to have what's her nuts, um, Margaret Dean. Margaret Dean be looking for a replacement or something for uh, a creative person. Now suddenly that's out the door, and then I, I even joked said, who's the woman they put in charge? And it's not. It's somebody. It's even. I mean, a woman who had animation background would have been an improvement. They're putting somebody in, and I'm not saying this person can't do his job, but clearly he is not from animation. And they're, it's either they're going to go in a completely different direction than animation, or I don't know what, because, you know, he doesn't have the background to understand it. And what he does have is this, you know, um, you know, like I said, I'm down with the kids. Yeah. You know, I'm going to, you know, we're going to go pick up these books. You know, I listen to my, my, my teenage daughter, granddaughter tells me, and I go buy those properties. You know, it, that's what it's. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now, they said that he's been a friend to Rooster Teeth for quite some time. He's from Austin, so maybe. Maybe he's not the worst choice. Now, they tried to spin it. I, I watched a little bit of this video announcement. And basically, from what I can gather from Matt Hollum, his job is going to more or less become pitching other pitching TV series to other networks. That's basically what he's going to be doing now, is Whoa. coming up with ideas to pitch to other networks. You know what it reminds me of? You know what this kind of reminds me of? And this is something we came from, too. Um, you're not making enough money. Um, we're going to demote you, and if you want to keep your job and want to keep making money, you're going to have to get shows picked up from other networks to make this more profitable. Yeah. Doesn't that what it sounds like to you? I mean, I'm not saying that's what it happens, because we don't know for sure, but we've been in this situation, and that's what it sounds like to me. What's going to happen? They're, they're splitting Rooster Teeth. From what I could gather, they're splitting Rooster Teeth in half. They're going to have the Rooster Teeth that's behind the paywall with their podcast content and all of that kind of stuff. And then Hollum and Bernie, I think, are going to go 
basically try to pitch shows to other networks to get like Netflix and Hulu to pick their stuff up. So they become like they basically they become awesomeness TV pitching 2. this kind 0. of 2.0 pitching this kind of stuff, you know, and they're no longer in independent. But we don't know if they're animated shows or live action shows. No, they could be live action shows. They could be animated cheaper. too, though. It, it could be. Um, now again, talking to insiders on the, on the, the Warner side, um, you know, they seem to think that the long-term game plan might be that Rooster Teeth animation will roll into Cartoon Network Studios or what could happen is Matt and Bernie basically just pitch shows to Cartoon Network at this point. Uh, I don't know. I just, whatever's going on, I think this feels like it's a mess. This feels like the last ditch effort to keep Rooster Teeth as Rooster Teeth and not just Fold yeah, I guess that's what I'm saying. If you, if you can't do it, if you can't be successful and, and bring more to the table, we're going to have to, you know, you're going to be gone and we're going to have to roll it into something else. That's, that's exactly what, what's That's what I'm saying. It sounds yeah. like that because that's what we've been in this situation before. That's exactly what it feels like to me. I'm going to say they probably gave them a timeline. They probably gave them maybe a year or two uh, fiscal years yet to, to start. Like, if Rooster Teeth can't generate profit on its own, then you go out and you sell shows to Hulu. Sell That's what I'm Netflix. saying. We've been in the same yeah. situation recently. So I, I'm, I'm, uh, this is exactly how it feels to me. Yeah. I mean, and, it could be wrong, but it's how it feels. Yeah. Cause it sounds like they're taking the brains of the app. They're taking Bernie and Matt and they're, they're moving them into like the producer role. And then they're going to have these, I hate to use the term underlings, but they're going to have the underlings deal with the day-to-day -day stuff they were doing. Uh, they're going to have this Levin oversee all of it. And these these guys, the beating heart of Rooster Teeth, they're going to go out and they're going to pitch shows to other networks mm -hmm. to survive. Yeah, so they're going to they're gonna send their ideas to other places. And is Disney, I mean, Disney owns Hulu. Uh, Netflix is Netflix. Warner is a competitor. Are they going to even pick shows up? from them because they're going to be like you're part of Warner so we're basically just giving Warner money to, to give back to I like, don't know because because there's so many different services there are streaming services coming out now they're all going to see it as a, a competition yeah you know, I, I have no idea the whole thing is messed up this I mean like a, a mess. I, what we do know for sure is that positions have been changed there's other guys brought in apparently he does know them so maybe it's not as bad but he, the fact that he has no animation background whatsoever worries me uh, and it sounds like they're switching gears into switching more to live action and giving people that were in live action positions boosts and it just it just it just doesn't seem like it's gonna rooster teeth is not gonna be rooster teeth that's, that, that, I mean, that's the takeaway we, we can make assumptions and guess we're gonna have, we're gonna have to wait and see what happens to see if we're right or not but rooster teeth is no longer rooster teeth that is the takeaway yeah this is we predicted this for months and people were like ah you're so full of it you're so negative it's like no all the all the signs there on the corporate side they were all there. We speak corporate. They were all there. This is this is this is the last ditch effort, I think, to keep Rooster Teeth its own brand before it gets rolled right. into something. See, people else. forget Neon was from corporate. Uh, he was a marketing he was a marketing director and everything else. I mean, and been editors and stuff like that. He, his background is corporate. We 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 know how corporations I've, work. I've been I've been on the receiving end of enough corporate restructuring to know it when I see it. Let's just put it that way. So all the signs were there. I'm going to say they're there. They were given an ultimatum. Mm -hmm. And uh, if they don't pull rooster teeth out of a tailspin, they'll just absorb the IP into other divisions. In the and then they'll just go live action solely or yeah. whatever. So anyway, so happy news, happy news, right? Everybody. There you go. Uh, now, if you're a rooster teeth fan, we're going to wrap this one up. We'll keep an eye on this. Uh, sorry. It took us a day late to or a day later to get to this. I honestly did not expect that kind of a bombshell this soon mm. after the layoffs. Um, but here we are. Yep. All right. So we're going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants on the 100% independent Clownfish TV. That's right. Goodbye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.